Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about one of the things that I love to talk about the most and those are pop-up sprinkler nozzles and all their colors and exciting uh, information that's on the top and all the possibilities that you can do just with your regular pop-up sprinkler head. So today we're going to be talking about what are the different colors that come with the different nozzles that go on your four inch pop-up heads. There's a number of different colors. Here you have four different colors, plus there's still another one right here. So we have five different colors for the fixed nozzles. And understanding what those colors mean as you go out and, and repair your sprinkler heads, change out nozzles. For instance, on this one, we have the color red. And then on the bottom, you see the letters or the letter and the numbers uh, 5F. What does that mean? The 5 is the distance that that nozzle is going to spray under optimal pressure. It's going to spray out 5 feet. And then the F stands for it's a full, full radius, meaning 360 degrees. So compare that to a 5H. What does the H stand for? Half or 180 degrees. Now it's a little bit more obvious when you look at these, so this one's gonna spray out all along here, around the edges, 360, it's fixed. Or this one, being the half, you have these dash marks up here. And you might be confused, what are those dash marks? Well, that's exactly where it's gonna spray out the water. As you can see, here's the slit in the, in the front where the water's gonna come out. And if you look right there, the dash marks line up. So when you're adjusting that sprinkler head and trying to get it just right, then you can have from the top view, you're gonna see exactly where that 180 degrees lines up so you can spray in the right direction. And then the last, let's look at this, uh, a 5Q. And by now you probably understand the Q stands for quarter or 90 degrees. So once again, those dash marks are showing you the 90 degrees where the water is gonna spray out right there, and then there's the little port for the water to spray out of, right? So red is five feet when it comes to rainbird nozzles. You have eights, which are green. You have tens, which are blue. You have 12 footers, which are brown. And last but not least, you have 15 footers uh, that are black. So. That will help you be able to just see the colors and if you have that memorized and you'll know exactly how far they're supposed to spray. From there, you might have some nozzles that are not spraying correctly. And sometimes it, it has to do with the filters being clogged. I would say 80% of the time it's the filters clogged. So check the filters. The filters just go in the sprinkler heads, you know, just like this and then down into here, right? So if you unscrew the nozzle, open it up, you'll see that a lot of times it's clogged and you just throw out the old filter and put a new one in and it's spraying right again. In the other cases, there might be like a little grain of sand. It's really something small that gets through the filter. It's uh, either clogging this little port and maybe it's spraying out kind of like, you know, separated and then you have a dry spot on your lawn. So a lot of times you can just rub your fingernail through that or you can use this rainbird tool and try to get in there and just dislodge that little grain or a little tiny little rock that's in there kind of distorting the spray pattern of your nozzle. The other times is sometimes in the bottom you'll see these little ports where the water goes through. Sometimes it'll get stuck in there as well. Worst case scenario, they're only a dollar or so. Um, so you can just replace it with a new one if you don't want to hassle with that. The last thing that we're going to go over with these heads um, and knowing how to adjust it is the, dealing with the screw on top. So uh, most of the time you're not going to have to deal with that. If you select the right color, the right uh, radius of feet that it needs to be spraying out, then you shouldn't have to do that. But every once in a while you need to adjust it a little bit more fine tune and you can just use this Rainbird sprinkler tool, go in there and just crank it to the right to screw it down, right? So then you just crank it to the right like that and that will screw it down and then that will slowly shorten the distance just a little bit. You can even screw it all the way down and it'll shut the water basically off for that one sprinkler head. So, so say that water area is getting too much water, you can just screw that sprinkler uh, screw down on that pop-up head 
and keep it from watering that area if you're just getting too much water or whatnot and you don't want to take out the head. That's a quick overview of the fixed NPRs uh, by Rainbird that are pretty, pretty prevalent out there. Um, so that way you know how to read the nozzles and when you go to the sprinkler stores you know exactly what you're looking at and then and then knowing the difference between full halves quarters and here's the bonus material is you guys probably haven't heard about this one and now that you've heard about all the other readings question is what does the U stand for so it's U dash 12 Q so we know 12 stands for 12 feet it's gonna spray out the Q is quarter spray with those notches. It's 90 degrees that's going to be spraying. It's fixed. It's not adjustable. But the U is stands for undercut. So if you've ever had the issue of the water just seems to spray out over uh, the dis the area around the head, it's still dry, but everywhere else is good. Now they have these nozzles right that have the slit on the bottom, so it sprays out normally, but then it also has a little bit that sprays down close to the sprinkler head. So that is. A really great thing if you ever have issues around the sprinkler heads not getting enough water you can install one of these nozzles with the undercut whether it's a quarter or a half um, you can do that it's not available on the full and then that way you can cover the short distance as well so it has two two slits in the nozzle like that so you can see the top one and then the bottom one that shoots down like that and that's the undercut version of the normal fixed uh, NPR nozzles made by Rainbird so in another video, just to give you a little heads up, we're going to go into the adjustable versions and there's two different adjustable versions and we're going to look at those. And then also in another video, stay tuned. We're going to go over the really cool ones. Um, Rainbird makes these uh, adjustable ones that are also the little streamers that you see that are still pop up heads, but then they have little streams of uh, water that rotate through and the more uh, probably used ones I would say I guess are the Hunter MP rotators which uh, are really cool and we're going to take a closer look at those in another video so stay tuned thanks for watching leave comments below let us know if this helped you and we'll catch you in the next one see ya